Hey everybody, welcome to the first of a new series of Atomic IBD Uncut, a daily series of one take uncut videos with me talking about inflammatory bowel disease and associated things. Broadly, we're going to talk about three different areas. Big focus on IBD therapeutics, both new and existing therapies, talking about the data, evidence to support their use in clinical practice, positioning, tips and tricks. We're going to look at the future pipeline. We're going to put this into context from my experience locally as a gastroenterologist in the Edinburgh IBD unit, but we're going to also put this into a global setting accepting that around the world, different people will be trying to treat their patients the best they can with different available drugs. Second, I really want to talk about evolving IBD management. How do we bring together new tools looking at artificial intelligence using digital telemonitoring and wearable technology? That plus latest algorithms that we can generate from both routinely collected NHS and other healthcare data from biomarker data sets generated through both routine labs like calprotectin and CRP, but also from multi-omics tests using increasingly reliable, robust, cheap and scalable platforms such as proteomics uh, and metabolomics, as well as the real emerging data looking at metabolomic um, and metagenomic sequencing of the gut microbiome. And then third, thinking about holistic care for IBD patients, looking at sleep, exercise, fatigue, anxiety and depression, and other quality of life and psychosocial variables. Also starting to think about how we can think not just about holistic care, but holistic medicine, how do IBD patients have the best outcomes, not just from the disease itself, but also from other health-related problems? We know, for example, that patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis with long-standing, poorly controlled inflammation will have an increased risk of major adverse cardiac events. So I want to think about this and other metabolic health parameters and how we can help prevent them. And perhaps lastly, to really look forward towards the research strategies, the endeavours um, and the thinking that will lead us towards prediction, prevention and cure or cures of these really debilitating illnesses. So we're going to touch on a wide range of different topics. Each of these will be just me rambling away for anywhere between two and five minutes, trying to address a key topic each day across this and other issues. You can let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to cover. Look out for these every day. There'll be no fixed time. It'll be when I can fit it in. And I look forward to you coming along with this journey with me. It's an experiment. It's a challenge for me to get me used to speaking to camera directly. Um, and we'll see how this goes with a bit of time. Thanks for joining. And until then, until now, stay safe and be good. Goodbye.